All right, evening, folks. Here's the completion video of the uh, radiator overflow pressurized tank. I'm going to turn it around and show you. The first video showed you the plastic one and the custom-made aluminum one, which wasn't a bad price. All right, now, if you can see it right in there, there's the sight glass. So I don't even have to open this no more. I can look and see, man, I can see my coolant level. That was the center mark I put to grind that little hole. I'm going to finish it up a little bit, but here we go. All right, so this is all metal. This is a diesel pusher, Beaver 1999, Patriot Monticello, 40-foot diesel pusher. And remember, the plastic was back here. So there's the sight glass. It's full, and it's still hot because I ran it, got it to 185 degrees. Um, and... I'm still going to take this where the radiator cap does two things. One, when it gets hot and expands, the coolant comes out of this little hose. And I'm going to put a little reservoir over here. It never had it. All right. Now, the second part of the radiator cap, when it cools off, it actually draws the fluid back in. All right. So here's the big radiator, all right, because it's a rear discharge radiator. There's a side glass. All right. And it actually turned out pretty good. All right. When you see a radiator, little hose come out of a radiator like this, that's your air bleed. All right. It bleeds all the air out. So that goes right there to the back. And I showed you this in the other video, but I'm just going to back up a little bit and show you what the whole thing looks like. Uh, that tag actually, it says I fix RVs. Uh, but it's in there in the office. I just haven't put it back on here. I got two tags for it. Uh, one's called a vanity tag. So in my vein, I don't know. So, but this is what I'm going to modify before it ran back here and discharge. So I'm going to put the bottle here tomorrow. I might make a little video of that. I just might tell you. Let me stick this down in the bottle. Okay. Remember, there's a thing that the radiator cap does too. It relieves the pressure out because hot fluid expands. And when it cools off, it draws it back in. So this sight glass is full. That's right up to there. And remember, the other one was the plastic one. You couldn't see through it. And it, the full mark was in the back. Crazy design, but that's what originally, okay. That thing here is not my dipstick or my engine oil. It's where you put the oil. All right. There you go. Now, all I can do is come around here and look right in here. Go, oh, yeah, my coin's getting low. This don't have a low fluid level sensor in it. Um, 99, that didn't come with that. All right. That was a brief video, folks. So thank you very much. It's late at night here. Um, show you in the shop. It's slowly coming along. I'm getting organized. Yep. Remember that wall used to be full of tools, but now I got my toolbox. I think that's 15, 20 years old, that box. Uh, and it's slowly coming. This is my shop. This is where you'll come to learn RVs and how to repair them. All right. So it'll hold a 45 foot with all four slides open and we can have a blast. Remember folks, what's the motto? Test not guess. What's the other saying I usually always end the video with safe travels me you can't fires burn break till we meet again where maybe here on the youtube channel please subscribe we might meet on the road i wave at people and blow my air horns and the other one is i meet them at filling stations whether you're getting gas in your rv or diesel i usually say hello to everybody hand out business cards a lot of people know me already um, the other place is the RV Diagnostics Troubleshooting Facebook page, which is going to be real shortly, 25,000 members. And then there's the one-on-one -on -one website. That's where I go through the phone with you. You are my hands and my eyes through the camera. And I look at what you're doing to help you troubleshoot everything. It don't matter if it's a rooftop unit, AC, or a dash chassis AC. Um, it don't matter if it's electrical, mechanical, hydraulic, chemical. I can help you troubleshoot it. I, like I said, toot my horn a little bit. I'm doing this stuff over 50 years. And some of you know who I am. This is my love. This is my passion. 
Um, so, what's another place to meet me? Is you can email me, Jeff at rvdiagnostics.com. Just email me. My address here is 22480 Bloxham, B L O X O M, School Road, Seaford, Delaware, S E A F O R D, Delaware, D L A. A W A R E Delaware, zip code one nine nine seven three. I live on a peninsula. To my east is the Atlantic Ocean, plenty of beaches. To my west is the Chesapeake Bay, plenty of beaches. Uh, so, uh, and I think just in this peninsula alone, there's four hundred eighty some campgrounds between private and public or state parks. Thank you very much. This is Jeff. See you later.